I'm going to be showing off a couple interesting things that have been found in the map of Vigor. Um, uh, Vigor's home base, actually. This map here that you see in front of you now. Um, so, first things first, before I say anything, uh, I'm just going to quickly explain how a lot of these things are found. Uh, me and my friends were playing the game. Uh, it's actually, there's a video on my channel where we found a lot of these hidden secrets. A lot of the part of this puzzle. Um, we were basically just playing Vigor. We noticed that the, the sketches on the map, some of them were actually legible, some of them weren't. And a particular one that wasn't legible was this message here GGA 9510 3 1 20. Um, now you may be wondering, but Chris, what does this mean and why do I care? I don't know why you care. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So basically, uh, that, this, this line up here, this, this number letter combination, when you punch that into Google, the first thing that comes up is the will, the last will and testament of a man. The name, man's name is Bert Schwitters. He was a German artist uh, during, uh, around the times of World War II. Now again, you might be like, well, Christopher, that's just a random occurrence. It has nothing to do in any way, shape, or form to to Vigor. It's just a coincidence. But here's the thing, and as you probably can see in front of you on the screen right now, the handwriting and the letter-number combination are the exact same as it is on the document. It's the similarities are, are definitely undeniable as they look one the one on the map looks straight out of that well however you might be at this point be wondering so what does this mean oh, and who is Birch Twitter well I don't really know what this means and that's that's the part that we haven't really gotten yet it's it's the Easter egg and secret hunt kind of ends here we don't have definitive proof of anything else yet. Uh, that's the only thing that we can confirm. All right, this is this seems to be going somewhere. But Bert Schwitters is actually it was an artist in his life. Um, the type of art he did was a art that had a lot to do with scrap, uh, taking a bunch of scrap and making art out of it. Now this seems eerily similar to the scrap system in game, where you get a bunch of scrap and you make things out of it, uh, whether that be your house, making it out of metal parts and other pieces, or whether those be your weapons, which can be crafted using literal parts. Now, considering these factors, it, it does seem like the coincidences could still be just that, a coincidence. Until you look into the fact that Birch Witters, as a, as a person, actually did go to Norway at one point in his life. He was exiled from Germany after messing up, messing with the Gestapo and the, the powers that were in control during World War II. And he was exiled to Norway. He was just, so let, let me just review everything that, that, that's just been said. We have a document that completely matches handwriting and number style as that is on the map. We have a man who went to Norway at some time in his life and lived there for some time in his life. Then we have a man whose art style was the combination of scrap. And I personally think that the coincidences that are surmounting here are just too, too much to be just a coincidence. Now what does this mean? I don't know. It can mean something as simple as, well here's a nod to a guy that is cool and he did scrap buildings too and other stuff like that or could mean a, something else we don't me and my friends don't exactly know yet however if we do figure anything else out about this you know we'll hear it first here and um if you guys do figure anything else out make sure to write it in the comments i mean many minds is greater than one I don't know, one of you might be a, a Kurt Schwitters enthusiastic, enthusiast, 
you might pull up with detailed information about like the structure of the house has something to do with Kurt Schwitters. I don't know. However, this is something that I, I do think needs to be acknowledged because even if it's nothing more than just an Easter egg, it's quite an interesting Easter egg put in. And it's just something little interesting and chill.